Hello everyone, today we will continue to look at the specific question bank for the Red Hat System Administration Certification. Today we are looking at the fourth question. So, after completing the third question, what, earlier, and the fourth question, there is no connection at all, meaning the first three questions have no connection with the fourth question. Here, every time we discuss a question, we will clearly explain the connections to prevent you from getting confused and not knowing where to find the mistakes in the fourth question. It has no connection with the previous three questions. Just do it. That's a good point. Well, the downside is that although the command seems simple, it's actually very easy to make mistakes here. Why is that? Because in this part, we need to create one group and three users in total. Ah, as we mentioned before, this is the user management section, one group plus three users. If you make a mistake in writing any of them, points will be deducted. Ah, so make sure not to write the names incorrectly here. Hey, make sure not to make mistakes. So first, the topic here is mainly divided into two parts. Creating users and creating groups are the two parts. Creating a group is one command, and creating a user is another command. However, when creating users, there are some special requirements. Take note, there are some special requirements. For the first two users, we need to specify a secondary group for them. What about the third user? First, they cannot be a member of the secondary group. Second, they cannot log into the system. These are different requirements, so when you look at the requirements, make sure to pay attention. Don't misread the requirements, because if you do, and specify the user incorrectly, you won't get any points. Then finally, set the password. Setting the password is the simplest step. There's nothing much to it. This is the content of our fourth question. If there's an error, it means you wrote the command incorrectly. There's nothing more to say about it. And this question doesn't have any verification. As long as you don't get an error, it's fine. It's fine. This question isn't closely related to the previous or following questions, so you can approach it with confidence. First, we need to create a group. Make sure to create the group first, because the three users later need to have this group specified as their secondary group. So, if you don't have this group, it will result in an error. So the first step is to create it. Also, please pay attention to follow the requirements of the question, the group, and usernames. In the current question bank, may not be the same during the exam. The parameters might change. So be aware. Then the next step is to create my users. The method for creating the first two users is actually the same, both specifying the group we just created as their secondary group. The command is the same, just change the username. The main thing is to be careful not to write the username incorrectly. The third one is different because it has a special requirement, which is it cannot log into the system, so how do we do this? There are many ways to write this, and this is one of them. Just remember one method and ask for the others. If you know them, you can definitely modify it yourself. It's not a problem. As long as it cannot log into the system, it's fine. There are actually many ways to write this. Here, use this simplest method, as it is relatively easier. Then add the username. Be sure not to write the username incorrectly or in reverse, and don't mix it up with other users. Next step. Ah, now we create the password. For creating the password, there are two methods here. If you don't want to use this command, you can also directly use the password command to specify it, and that's fine too. However, that way, there will be more numerical content, so it's recommended to use this method. This method first ensures that your command and your password are definitely correct. Ah, it is definitely correct. The main issue with this task is that if you write the password incorrectly, it's hard to check because you can't see it, but with this method, you can see what your password is. All right, everyone should pay attention to this. Good one. Two.
Three. Okay, finished. If you need the complete question bank, you can leave a comment below and purchase the most stable question bank at the best price. That's it for today, everyone. Goodbye.